everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing questions and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant's Role PL200. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this content helpful, please let us know in the comments. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. To get the complete list of questions and answers, please click on the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, how do you design the data model in the common data service and what are the some best practices to follow? Answer should be, Designing a data model in the common data service involves defining entities, attributes, and relationships to represent business data. Some best practices include Start with business requirement. Understand the business processes and data requirement to, to design a data model that aligns within the organization's needs. Normalize data. Organize data into entities and define relationships to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. Use naming convention. Follow consistent naming conventions for entities, attributes and relationships to re ensure clarity and maintainability. Limit customizations. Minimize the number of custom entities and attributes to keep the data model simple and manageable. Plan for scalability. Design the data model with future growth in mind, considering factors such as data volume, performance and extensibility. By following these best practices, you can design a data model in CDS that supports efficient data management, integration, and extensibility. Next, what are Power BI paginated reports and when do you use them instead of traditional Power BI reports? Power BI paginated reports are highly formatted, pixel perfect reports optimized for printing and sharing. They are typically used for scenarios such as operational reporting, invoice generation and regulatory compliance reporting. While precise formatting and pagination are essential. Unlike traditional Power BI reports, which are interactive and dynamic, paginated reports offer mixed layouts and supports for features like page headers, footers, and repeating elements. You would use paginated reports when you need to produce printed or PDF output that closely resembles traditional paper-based reports or when you require precise control over layout and formatting. If you are preparing for any Microsoft based certification, please refer to the link given in the description for the list of valid tried, tested and updated questions and answers. If you find our content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Keep supporting us. Thank you.